Hi guys! Hello! Hi, hi, hi! So today I'm going to do a vintage haul. I am so excited. I have not been able to go vintage shopping for such a very, very long time um, because I've just never really had any money so I had to stick to charity shops which wasn't all bad. You know, I love me a chatter. Um, but now I can actually afford to go vintage shopping again. I'm like in my element and I love it so much. Um, so I've got some stuff to show you. I've been everywhere. I've been Brick Lane, Brighton, eBay. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Also, I'm wearing a choker today. It's not a thing I do. I don't know how I feel about it. Do let me know. Um, I don't know if I look pretentious or not. The first thing I found on eBay and um, I haven't actually shopped on eBay for a really long time, but, but I found these really cool dungarees. These are brand new vintage dungarees, um, and they were £3. The Chubba Chups patch wasn't on there, I ordered that and put that on myself, and I'm going to cover these in patches. I actually have a really cool, um, what's his name, Ralph Wiggum patch, let me find it. He's got like a broken heart from the one where he like falls in love with Lisa. I got this in Brighton. Um, but I choo choo choose you, Ralph. The next bits are from when I went to Brighton with Jack for my birthday. Um, I had so much fun shopping in Brighton. Like, oh, I, just, I was in my element. Oh, I love it. I love the Beyond Retro in Brighton. It's gorgeous. And I really love um, what they're called, To Be Worn Again. I found the most amazing thing in there. So what it was is, I'm pretty sure that this used to be a clown costume. The trousers, my bum's too big for them, to put it quite bluntly. I don't know what I'm going to do with them just yet. I might make a really fancy headband out of them, or I might turn them into a skirt. We'll see. We'll see where, we'll see where the tides take me. But this is the top. It's incredible. Can we just have a look at this pattern? It's really nice, like, soft soft hell no it's not soft it's um a delicate crepe chiffon um with a really nice like sailor collar and the pattern's just to die for am i not right look at it i love it and i'm going to show you the trousers so the trousers are these really funky i'm pretty sure they're culottes you know me and my culottes um really funky elasticated waist three quarter length trousers now this waist looked like it would fit me but this does not fit round my big fat bum so I don't know what I'm going to do I did buy a zipper across the road from to be worn again in a little haberdashery to put a zipper in but I just don't know if it's going to work but I'm so glad that I didn't leave Brighton without this outfit because it's just amazing and even if I don't wear it just to have it and to be able to like have it when I have kids and like be like, look, you can wear this, do you want to dress up in my clothes, like that kind of thing. It's a treasure. This is a treasure of mine and I'm going to keep it forever and ever and ever. I love it so much. The next thing I bought is from To Be Worn Again, but the different shop. They've got two in Brighton, so it's like the big, big shop, not the little one. Um, and this is, this was outside on the rail and it's a yellow raincoat and a rack thingy. Um, Jack has a thing for windbreakers at the moment and he saw a windbreaker when we were there and he's like oh I really want it and I was like okay I'll get it for you and then um, I saw this one I was like oh my god we can match <laughs> so he's got a red one and I've got a yellow one with like ketchup and mustard but um, look at how cute this is it's adorable and I love it it's got a little pocket I mean come on it's yellow okay the last thing I bought from like the markets in Brick Lane is this really awesome shirt it's sea foam, as my friend Spooky describes it, and it's got dagger collar, and it's just a really funky, really cool shirt. I really like this. I can't wait to wear it. I don't know what to wear it with, though. Oh, come on. It's awesome. Um, it's just a 70s shirt. Like, I can't really explain it any other way other than it's a 70s shirt. It's got really cute long sleeves, and I reckon under, like, a denim pinny, it would look really cute. Uh, but yeah, this was a fiver as well. Really cute. And I got it from, like, a stall... I wouldn't know where it is, but it's definitely in the lanes. So we went to Beyond Retro when we were in Brighton as well, um, as always, as per tradition. Um, I picked up some athlete socks. I'm aware these aren't vintage, they're just new, but I really liked them, so I bought them, and they were £4. The next thing, and the last thing that I bought in Brighton, is this incredible, amazing, fabulous, 
sequin evening gown look at it basically i bought this for the creative head awards this year um and it has been worn so if there's any like dark patches where i've probably spilled alcohol on it i do apologize but girl's got a party um this was 26 pounds but jack got me a gift card for beyond retro a little while ago and i just hadn't used it yet and I thought it would be a perfect time to use the gift card to get my dress for the Creative Head Awards. So I did just that and um, I adore this dress. I feel like a sparkly princess. Like I've, All my life I've wanted to dress up in incredible vintage dresses but I've never had a chance to. So oh my did I go all out. Look at this. <laughs> so yeah, this is my incredible sequin fabulousness dress and I love it okay so the next few things i got at brick lane in london so i'm going to show you the first thing which i purchased on the sunday market but um it's just this play suit it's just a little checky play suit oh pockets are hanging out it's got pockets it's got pockets um yeah they're both hanging out it's because in the wash it has got a little belt um i am yet to find the belt in my room somewhere i don't know where it's got so so cute so nice with boots and it'll be really nice in the winter with a pair of tights and like a little jumper love okay the last few bits i got from beyond retro in brick lane over the summer they've had a five pound um well five seven ten fifteen pound outlet sale thing um they pretty much always do an outlet sale but most of the time it's pretty you know it's pretty good um i got quite a few things in there so i'm going to show you what i bought but first i'm going to show you something that i didn't buy from the outlet sale but i simply bought because if i left it there I would never stop thinking about it and I would regret it forever. So this is what I bought in the non-sale in Beyond Retro. It's a mod go, go dress and I love it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Scooter dress. Um, it's white and red and it's got buttons going all the way down the middle and I adore it so very much. This is another piece that I'm going to treasure forever and ever and ever. I love it. And this was £26 which actually, when I actually look at the price of vintage as it is now, £26 is actually a really decent price for a go-go dress. I think other places would put this up to like 40 40 60 maybe. Um, oh my god, it's so cute and it's adorable on. Oh, I love it so much. So these last bits I got from the outlet. So this is a pair of elasticated shorts. So snazzy. They have got a massive hole in them, but it's okay because I only wear them at home. Um, <laughs> And they've got like marks on them from like probably someone who's been bleaching just like i do um, but these are my loungy at home shorts and they have you guessed it some pockets my fave thing these were a fiver and they're tropical print like could you want anything else out of life like these are fabulous and i love them and they're so damn comfy This next thing I got is probably one of my favourite things that I've bought in a very long time. Bar, you know, my mod dress and my sequin dress and my <laughs> clown outfit. Um, and I adore it. And it's a 70s silk skirt now. I ruined it at work. Uh, that's colour. That's all toner. That's all toner and colour. Yeah, I've ruined it at work. Hopefully um, this pink should come out because I've sprayed it with hairspray and I'm only showing you because um, if, it if it doesn't come out in the wash, I'm going to have to point it out to you anyway. So I haven't washed this yet. Um, but it's silk and it's from the 70s. And oh my God, it's gorgeous. Don't you think the colours are brilliant? This was a fiver, so I'm not as bummed about ruining it as I would be if I ruined like my um, mod dress. But it's so sweet on and it's so flowy i feel like cinderella this is the last thing from my haul and this is my birthday dress that i wore on my 21st birthday party i had a mexican themed party because my friends call me jose so it's stuck it's a nickname um jose Guerras is my alter ego so this is the dress i chose it's not mexican themed at all but it is red and that's why i chose it it's a 1970s maxi dress um and it's it's gorgeous let's just be honest look at all these strappage got some strappage going on good old three straps on each side they crisscross at the back and then it just goes all the way down and i don't i have washed this but i don't know if i've stained it with alcohol because i did spill a lot of alcohol that night i wore this with a little sombrero and i looked hella cute and i adore this dress i can't wait to wear it again 
I'm just going to wear it whenever I want. I'm going to wear it to Tesco's when I do the food shop. Honey, I can do what I like. I'm a grown adult now. Um, but yeah, that was my vintage haul and I really hope you liked it. Follow me on Instagram because that's where you can keep up with me. I'm very busy but I always Instagram so follow me on there. It's who is Josie who. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.